Hi everyone, in today's Biblical Cities of the Holy Land video, we will take a look at the Philistine city of Ashdod. Ashdod, which is located 3 miles or 4 kilometers from the Mediterranean coast of Israel in the plain of the Philistines, was one of the cities of the Philistine Pentapolis. Even though Biblical Ashdod was not situated directly on the coast like Ashkelon to the south, its location on the international highway known as the Via Maris or the Way of the Sea made it an important and wealthy city in Biblical times. The city which came into existence during the Bronze Age is first mentioned in secular sources around the 13th century BC in connection with the trade of purple textiles with the northern trade city of Ugarit. The city appears to have reached its height during its occupation by the Philistines during the Iron Age and reached a size of roughly 100 acres. The city was captured, destroyed and rebuilt several times during its long history before the end of the New Testament period by groups like the Canaanites, Philistines, Israelites, Egyptians, Assyrians, which is mentioned in Isaiah chapter 20 verses 1 to 2, the Babylonians, the Persians, the Greeks and Romans. By the Greek period it had been renamed to Azotus and is mentioned once in the New Testament in Acts chapter 8 verse 40 in connection to the journeys of Philip the Evangelist. The city is also mentioned several times in the Old Testament. In Joshua chapter 11 verses 21 to 22, the Bible states that this city sheltered some of the remnant of the children of Anak, known as the Anakims, who the Bible records were a race of giants. The most notable occasion that this city is mentioned in the Old Testament is found in 1 Samuel chapter 5 verses 1 to 8, where the Bible records that it was the first city where the Philistines took the Ark of the Covenant after having captured it during the battle with Israel at Ebenezer. The Ark was then placed in the temple of Dagon to honour their god. However, during its stay in the temple, the image of Dagon was miraculously knocked down twice and even had its hands and head broken off on the second occasion. It was then removed to the city of Gath after the city was judged with a plague by God. The Bible also mentions the city in 2 Chronicles chapter 26 verses 6 to 7, where the city was conquered by King Uzziah of Judah. During the Persian period, the inhabitants of the city also opposed the reconstruction of the walls of Jerusalem, which is found in Nehemiah chapter 4 verses 6 to 8. And furthermore, some of the Jewish men of Judah had also married women of Ashdod, which is found in Nehemiah chapter 13 verses 23 to 27. The Old Testament prophets like Isaiah, Jeremiah, Amos, Zephaniah and Zechariah also mention the city and its inhabitants. The site of Biblical Ashdod was excavated partially for nine seasons during the 1960s and 70s. The site however has remained undeveloped for tourism. The site is also difficult to gain access to and therefore is very rarely visited by tourists. However, directly on the coast is a much later site known as Ashdod Yam, and it has an 8th century AD fortress. Though this site appears to have no real connection to the biblical Ashdod, beside its similar name. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe for more videos every Friday.